it looks like we're good to go. What's everybody? How's it going? Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, the Real Life Yankees are up 4 nothing, And uh, we are going to try and take the next two games of this four-game set with Toronto. Uh, we got Manoa on the mound for the Blue Jays. We're going to have Robbie Ray on the mound for us. So let's get things started. We lost the first game 5-3. We won the second game one nothing. So, here we go. It looks like the storm systems have finally cooled down. The bullpen is, aside from maybe Chad Green, everybody seems to be available. Uh, let's see the lineups. Everybody seems solid. Although, maybe, let's see, maybe we give the rookie Wit a day off. I think that's a good idea. We'll give Wit the day off. We'll put in... Brock Holt, give him a start against the righty Manoa. Um, got plenty of infielders, that is for sure. Trying to make sure we get everybody some time. Um, so LeMahieu, you know, and Hicks has been ice cold. What's up, Matt? How's it going? Let's also put in, let's give Jose Peraza a day at DH. See what happens there. And I'm going to put Brock Holt in the two hole. And then we're going to kind of just go this way. This way we got some speed down at the bottom of the lineup. And maybe Peraza can pick up a. Uh... Oh, actually, what's the fielding numbers here for? Let's see, 78. You know, let's 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 give Falefa the day at DH, and we'll have Peraza play the field. This way we also get like a half day off for him. And I think everybody else will just keep on rolling along and see if we can't get some of these guys going. So Peraza will be the shortstop today. Brock Holt will be at third. Uh, we split. We split the first two games of the Blue Jays. We lost, Cole lost 5-3 in game one. And then Woodruff pitched a gem in game two. We won one to nothing. Uh, eight shutout innings from him, and then Gallegos uh, shut the door in the ninth. So trying to now beat Manoa with Robbie Ray and try and take this series three games to one. What's up, Tyler? How's it going? So we're 8-4. Toronto's 8-3. and three. Wow, Gibby, I did not realize. That's crazy. Well, uh, No, uh, Milwaukee's up 5-4. Unless, unless Baltimore just scored. Uh... My phone says Milwaukee's up 5-4, Gibby. So unless Baltimore is about to score and that's not updated, because Baltimore does have two on two on in the bottom of the eight. At least according to uh, MLB TV. Two outs with two on, it looks like. I also have it going on my phone because the real-life Yankees are up 4 nothing, And a Roldis Chapman coming into a non-save situation. So we'll see what happens in real life. Yeah, Mel, the, uh, the Phillies came back against the Mets, scored five in the bottom of the eighth as the Mets continue to Met. And so Robbie Ray making his third start as a Yankee. 2-0 record. A whip just over one. Ten strokes, strikeouts, a lot of walks. But uh, can't argue with the record or the ERA. Leading off tonight for Toronto. I think he might... Giddy, he usually gets off to a good start, so I think he might actually do all right tonight as uh, Bo Bichette leading off against the lefty Ray. Takes a strike in the outside corner, and we are underway 0-1. Is that swung and a miss? 0-2? Yeah, I've been saying it. Nestor Cortez is our, uh, our ace now. Screw Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole is crap. Uh, Nestor Cortez, any playoff series if we make the playoffs... Nestor Cortez starts game one. Yeah, Dark Stroke, he's another, he's another bad base runner. Just like Gary Sanchez and everything else. Says, Strike three looking. Frozen with the curveball one away. Boone should have left Cortez in to finish the fifth. Boone shouldn't have brought in Chapman into a non-save situation. It is what it is. We look here at the stat cast. That was a swing and a miss. And then that one was fouled off. And then there you go. I mean, Donaldson almost got thrown out at home again in the eighth inning. A better throw would have had Donaldson. Be an 0-1 now to Tapia. Takes one low, 1-1. One one. Tapia, that's what you have in Spain. 
It's a joke, folks. It's a joke. That's tapas. Anyway, swing and a miss on a changeup one and two. Dark stroke, we've been over this a hundred times. Boone's a bad manager. He just is. This is fouled back out of play, still one and two. He's a bad manager. But Brian Cashman loves him because all he does is he's a puppet. As that's smacked on the right field line, foul, still one and two. Boone is a moron. So that misses low and outside, two and two. This one now, smacked towards left center field. Bellinger going back. We'll settle under it and make the catch for the second out of the inning. No, exactly, Smith. We're, this is game five of the year, and guys need a rest? Are you kidding me? So you look now at the Blue Jay lineup. We saw Bichette and Tapia, and then followed by Vlad Jr., George Springer. Guriel Jr. is your DH. Matt Chapman at third. Alejandro Kirk behind the plate tonight. Kevin Biggio in right. And Santiago Espinal at second base against the lefty. That is true, Gibby. They got. I mean, you got to beat Baltimore. If you're going to be a team that wants to win a division, you got to beat Baltimore. Uh, to be fair, Baltimore, when healthy, is a little better than they probably were last year, but you're the Milwaukee Brewers. You are the strong favorites. As that one smacked to the right side because of the shift, LeMay, who almost had a range, but makes the play, and it's a 1-2-3 first. As we now look at the Burger King Taco Bell fan cam. <laughs> No, the Yankees could trade him if they wanted to, Mel. They could trade him immediately. They could flip him, as it were. LeMayhew leading things off here now in the bottom of the first against Manoa. Fouls off a fastball. 0 and 1. LeMayhew, 98 career home runs. Hit a dinger two days ago. Fastball, slider, sinker, circle change for Manoa. Swing and a miss on a high slider. 0 and 2. LeMayhew. Three homers, 11 RBIs on the year. The 0-2, popped him up. Jammed him with the fastball. Guerrero in foul ground will make the catch, one away. We now look at the Yankees starting lineup. LeMayhew followed by Brock Holt getting the start today to give Bobby Witt a day off. Then Avi Garcia, Matt Olson, Jacob Stallings, Cody Bellinger, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, a rare start at DH, Michael Conforto in left, and then Jose Peraza batting ninth. I mean, Dark Stroke at this point, it doesn't really matter. It really just matters the first time through the lineup. Like, but I mean, yeah, like in a playoff series, Monty is not a three. He's not. He's a four or a five. That's fouled back and out of play by Brock Holt. Holt, two for five in the young campaign. Inside outs, this one to left. This one will be caught. Played nicely out there by Tapia. Two away. Batting third. The right Meanwhile, Avi Garcia now got the day off yesterday. Four homers, nine RBIs, a 273 average. First pitch from Manoa. Fouled back out of play, 0-1. Just a bit late on the fastball. Swing and miss 0-2. Yeah, dark stroke, who cares how hard he throws if he can't throw a strike? Does that misses outside 1 and 2? Plus, he got hit last year a couple of times on those hard pitches. The, the speed of the pitch doesn't mean anything. Like, it's impressive, but if a guy knows it's coming, no matter. You can still hit it. Anyway, real life two away as uh, Garcia pushes his foul. Still one, now one and two. Well, there you go, Gibby. Maybe they'll get out of it. It'll be a one-two now to Avi. Hammered towards right center field and deep going back. This one is going to split the outfielders. It's one hop against the wall. Garcia will hold with a two-out double. Who lost to Boston? Oh, Bo Tigers. I see. I'm scoring back now. Oh, there you go. The Tigers, it'll be fine. The Tigers, I think, will be fine. Tigers, Boston, Yankees are going to all be around 82 to 87 wins. Very true, Gibby. If it's a flat fastball, it don't really matter either. First pitch er, to Olsen, swinging a miss, 0 and 1.
The 0-1 checks his swing. Count levels at 1-1. One one. So Garcia off a second with a two-out double. And now Olsen smacks one to fairly deep left field. Going back, Tapia makes the running grab on the lip of the track for the final out of the inning. Yankees threaten but do not score at the end of one full here in the Bronx. No score. Leading off, George Springer, two homers, eight RBIs, a 324 average. Fouls off a fastball, 0 and 1. Now it takes a change up low, and the count level is at 1 and 1. Curveball misses inside, 2 and 1. Now a fastball chopped foul. Count levels at two and two. He gets because he throws so hard, probably, Dark Stroke. Is that swung on a miss? Strike three. Nice slider there by Robbie Ray. One away. The baby faced assassin. Yeah, that's fair, Matt. That's fair. Especially against the Yankees. Guriel Jr. now DHing today. He takes a strike in the inner half of the plate. 0 and 1. 295 average, one homer, five RBIs. He chases a changeup. Oh, and two. And there you go. Ball game over. Indeed, dark stroke. The Yankees win. And now I can go put my phone on the charger. The phone was almost dead. Yep, that's true, Matt. That is true. It'll be an 0-2 now to Guriel. Swing and a miss. Chase the high heat. Strike three, two away here in the bottom of the second. Yeah, it is what it is, Dark Stroke. It took, took five pitchers to get that shutout, though. Matt Chapman now up, hitting 222. Takes a strike on the outside part of the plate. 0-1. Three homers, four RBIs for Chapman. Takes a changeup low now, 1-1. And now a curveball fouled back out of play. One and two. Yeah, I hope he looks good too, Dark Stroke. Otherwise, I'm going to say it again. Nestor Cortez is the Yankee ace. Number one pitcher for the New York Yankees is Nestor Cortez Jr., not Garrett Craphead Cole. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Robbie Ray strikes out the side, and we go bottom two. No score. Jacob Stallings, three homers, seven RBIs, 8342 average. Got the day off yesterday. The uh, first pitch swing and a miss. Good fastball there from Anoa 0 1. It'll be an 0 1. In the dirt, one and one. Good take there by Stallings. Yeah, no, I know, Dark Stroke. I don't like we can. I mean, I don't want to trade Cole. I just want to get somebody like in front of him. To me, Cole's a two. He's not a one. Oh, you guys are. You guys are. Uh, is it a late start, Gibby, or are they literally just like rocking somebody? I'm not sure what the. I'm not. I turned off my phone, so I don't know. I know Oakland and Tampa were tied at seven. Like you said, the Brewers held on 5-4, or we're holding on the 2-2 two -two now. Count full. Stalling takes a fastball, 3-2. I think that was going to the ninth, the Brewers game. The 3-2, inside ball four, so Stallings draws the leadoff walk. Well, that's Dark Stroke, and I've said that a dozen times before as well. Well, as well, you flipped the script today, Gibby. You flipped the script as Bellinger now smacks this one towards left center field. It is over the head of Springer, and that's going to actually be uh, one hop off the wall. Stallings had to hold up to see if it would be caught. So a double for Bellinger, his sixth of the year, and Yankees are out on second and third with nobody out for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Falefa? Falefa. Isaiah. 
Smacks this one down the right field line. It's going to dunk him for a base hit. Cutting it off there and right is the outfielder. And scoring from second though is Bellinger. It's a two RBI single. Falefa delivers a nice piece of hitting there. And it's 2-0 Yankees. He went the opposite field. That's actually Biggio out and right. I was trying to think who's the right fielder today because it's not the normal lineup. Biggio in right, fields it, gets it in, but Bellinger too fast. And that brings up Michael Conforto now. Good speed off of first as uh, Conforto fouls off a fastball 0-1. Wow, give me that is a lot. <laughs> Conforto, one homer, two RBIs, 429 average, and obviously this is only his fourth start as a Yankee. Now a quick, quick pitch there by Manoa is fouled off to the left side, 0-2. Trying to keep Falefa close. Now just got a piece of the changeup, still 0-2. Peraza on deck, his second start of the year, playing short tonight. And Conforto to the left side and through for a base hit. Falefa will start, will stop at second. And it's a single for Conforto. And that'll bring up Peraza now, looking for his first hit as a Yankee. Peraza has pretty good speed and he's dropping, he's dropping a bunt. But it's going to kick foul. What's up, Rob? How's it going? So Peraza tried his best to get that bunt down. Maybe catch the Blue Jays sleeping. Swing and a miss now on a slider, 0-2. And, oh, that is never... I've heard there's some bad storms through the Midwest, Rob. So I don't know. I'm not, I can't remember exactly where you're at, but I hope you're all right and that all, is well, all will be well. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Bottom two. Two already in for the Yankees. Falefa chases a high sinker for strike three, one away. Big strikeout for Manoa as that brings us back to DJ LeMayhew in the top of the lineup. The second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. As this one popped up on the right field line, he'll reach the seats. Oh, one, one. Texas, that's right. Every rain away. Well, great. Well, yes. Well, I hope you do well, Rob. I knew somewhere in the middle of the country. I just couldn't remember where. The 0-1, fouled back out of play by DJ 0-2. Manoa trying to get out of this jam. Got a big strike out there, Peraza, but two already in. As LeMayhew chases the slider, strike three, two away. And that'll bring up Brock Holt, who flew out in his first at-bat. An RBI tump, uh, opportunity for Brock. First pitch, fouled back out of play, 0-1. Wind blowing in a little bit from dead center. And Holt fouls off a slider, 0-2. Not enough to really make a big a difference on fly balls, but... It'll be an 0-2 now. Drifts outside, count goes to 1-2. and two. It all started with the leadoff walk to Stallings. Then a double by Bellinger, a two RBI single by Faleva, another single by Conforto. And then strikeouts of Peraza and LeMayhu. And that's where we are now with Holt at the plate. A 1-2 popped up to left. Deep but playable. Catches made by Tapia. And that'll end the inning. But the Yankees strike for two. And we go top three. 2-0 Yankees. Alejandro Kirk will lead off. He's playing behind the plate tonight. Hitting 364. No homers. No RBIs. Getting the start against the lefty Ray. As that's top foul 0-1. Uh, no, Rob, actually it doesn't. It was actually discussed on TikTok. Some people were complaining because Falefa has a beard. There is no auto-shaving of the beard in the franchise. In fact, if you're acquired too late, you still have a beard. As you can see here with Robbie Ray, who has facial hair. See? So, is that uh, Mrs. Lowe and the count goes to one and two? That would be a cool feature, Rob, but I think the show has bigger things to worry about. <laughs> That's fouled back and out of play one and two. Now goes back foot with the slider, but Kirk lays off the count now, two and two. And this one punched to LeMayhew at second. He will flip to Olsen at first, one away. <laughs> number one priority, Mel, number one priority. 
Yankee custom rules as Kevin Biggio hitting 250. Two homers, five RBIs. His three run home run was the difference in the game against the Yankees in game one as he takes one outside, 1 0. As there's a strike in the outside corner, 1 and 1. Now swings to a big fastball there, 1 and 2. Chases the curve, strike three, and Ray is wheeling and dealing against his former team, two away. I don't have an issue with it, Matt. Like, look, if I was playing for the Yankees and they were like, you got to shave because it looks professional, I'd be like, okay, sure, whatever. That's fouled back and out of play by Espinal, who hit in 389. No homers, three RBIs. Swing and a miss, 0-2. No, that's also true, Mel. That is That would be a thing that they would focus on for, like, next year. Fastball got away from Ray. Misses high. One and two. Now a changeup misses low. Two and two. Now this one punched to Olsen at first. We'll scoop it and take it himself. And then I'll end the third. We go bottom three. Yankees still up two to nothing. Avi Garcia doubled in his first at bat, was left at second base, average now up to 289 on the year. Avasail Garcia swings and misses on a changeup 0 and 1. Avi's up to 131 career home runs. Ruben coming into his own the last few years. As he chops a slider foul, started his career from her correctly with Tampa Bay. Then went to Milwaukee and now is down in, well, in real life, down in Florida, which is who he traded for him with. 0-2 oh, now to Avi. Chase is a good slider there from Manoa. Strike three, one away. And that'll bring up Stahl, uh, Matt Olson, excuse me, who's 0-1 for 1 with a fly out. Now batting, the first baseman, Matt Olson. 40th pitch of the day from Manoa. It's chopped to the left side, and that's going to get through for a base hit. Olsen, a shift-beating single. And so a man on with one out here in the third. That, if you're going to give me outside pitches, I'm going to smack him the other way because I'm no more than baseball players. They give him the whole left side of the infield. Now Stalling walked in his first at-bat, came around to score the first Yankee run. Takes one outside, 1-0. One so the OPS is up to over 1,000 now for stalling. Olsen has a okay, well, below average speed, but good for a first baseman. As Stallings fouls that back and I play one-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to see a lot of speedy first basemen. But still, it would probably really be, have to be hit pretty hard to get him to score from first on something into the gap. As that's fouled off to the right side, one and two. Out in front of the sinker. The one, two, misses outside. Can't levels the count at two and two. Yeah, Matt, that would be a, a fun little feature for sure. For sure. The two, two, smack towards third. This could be two. Tough turn there. Goes the third for one on the first. An inning ending five, four, three around the horn. Double play. Nicely started there by Matt Chapman. Stallings hit it hard in the left field line, but Chapman backhands, fires against his body, and then a good turn there at second by Espinal. And we go top four. Yankees still up 2 0. As Bo Bichette, 0 for 1 today, 1 for 10 in the series, struck out in his first at bat, takes a pitch outside 1 0. And now this one smacked to dead center, but Bellinger is there, makes the catch, one away. Well, he'll fit right in with San Francisco next year, Matt, when he'll, when he'll probably grow one out there. So Tapia, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Takes a strike at the top of the zone, 0 and 1. Dollars to Donuts. Aaron judges the San Francisco Giant next year. This is rolled over to Olsen. He'll take it himself, two away. Because I don't think he's going to be a Yankee. Vlad Jr. 0 for 1 with a ground out. Takes a strike right down Broadway, 0-1.
swing and a miss, chases the change up 0-2. What? Judge? Judge is going to go to the San... I'm, I'm saying the Judge is going to go to the San Francisco Giants next year. That's where he's going to end up. That's where he'll sign. So he can go back to the West Coast. So that misses low. One and two. And then he'll grow a beard. So that misses inside. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two to Vladdy is hammered up the middle, but LeMayu is there because of the shift, and he makes the catch on a line drive to end the fourth. San Francisco. I think he's going to go to the San Francisco Giants. We'll go back to the West Coast. We go bottom four. Yankees up 2 nothing. Leading off for the Yankees. The center fielder, Cody. Oh, okay, Matt. All right. Sorry, with the chat, there's the, the, the delay, obviously, between everything. I think we're all caught up then. Cody Bellinger, one for one with a double. Swings and misses on a high sinker late on it, 0-1. Oh Bellinger with five homers on the year is first than the Yankees. Mel, if they do, I'm going to drive back to New York and beat the snot out of Brian Cashman. This one to deep right, ran down nicely by Biggio. Bellinger hit it hard, but Biggio was able to run it down on the track, one away. He is not worth $36 million a year. Kiner Falefa now one for one with a two RBI single. Oh, oh, you meant Sam Fran. I don't think I don't think anybody's gonna give him that money. I think though that somebody else, I think Sam Fran will offer him the most. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get like 31, 32 from them. And just to go home, he'll give him a hometown discount. Swing and a miss there, 0 oh, and 2. Because isn't Judge Judge originally from NorCal? Isn't he from NorCal? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. We know his 50th pitch of the day. Smack to the left side on a hop. Bichette is there. He'll fire to first in time, two away. And now that brings up Michael Conforto. One for one with a single in his last at bat. Yankees have hit the ball well a couple times, but nothing to show for it as Manoa misses outside 1 0. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what, that's what I thought, Matt, that he's from around the San Fran area. Northern California. So that misses outside the Conforto. 2 0. The 2 0 swing and a miss on a high sinker. 2 1. One of those 50 50 pitches. But you take the doubt away when you chase it. So 2 and 1. And now late on a sinker. 2 and 2. That pitch drifted back to the middle of the zone, but recognized it too late to Conforto. So the 2-2 now from Manoa. It's fouled back and out of play. Staying alive. The 2-2. Chop to the left side. Chapman is there. Fires the first. Good stretch by Vladdy Jr. And that on the inning. Yankees go 1-2-3. We go top five. Yankees still up 2-0. George Springer 0 for 1 will lead off. Ray at an even 50 pitches. Pitch number 51 is a strike, 0 and 1. Very efficient fourth inning for both pitchers. There's a strike in the inside corner, 0 and 2. Blew the fastball by him. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Springer down on strikes, one away. And that'll bring up now Guriel Jr. He hammers a fastball foul, 0 and 1. Exactly, Matt. Yeah, he probably has somebody from the Sacramento area. Yeah, those are your two, one of your two teams. Is, that misses low, 1 and 1. And uh, dollars to donuts, I'm going to say, I would say the Giants. Is that misses low, 2 and 1 to Guriel. The 2 1, fouled back and out of play. 98 on the gun from Ray. It'll be a 2 2 now. This one blooped to right. Long run for Garcia. Makes the running grab for the second out of the inning. Got a little bit of a late jump, but he made up for it with that 80 speed. And that'll bring up Matt Chapman, who struck out in his first at-bat. So he's also 0 for 1. As he takes one a little high, 1-0. and Now a strike at the knees, 1-1. One and one. 
Yeah, no, for sure, Matt, for sure. Ooh, a 50-50 pitch call, the ball, 2-1. The 2-1 to Chapman. Chops a curve, foul, 2-2. Two and two. I mean, maybe, Mel, that would be interesting. Could you imagine if he went to Oakland? As this is fouled off at the plate, good back foot, back foot slider there by Ray. We'll do the 2-2 two -two again. Inside, ball three, three and two. Kirk on deck. This is chopped foul, staying alive. Another foul ball from Chapman. Ray coming right at him though. And this one rolled over to Holt at third. Will Field fire to first in time. So an 18 pitch inning there, but Ray gets out of it. One, two, three. We go bottom five. Still two nothing Yankees. I mean, I, a hundred mil, a hundred percent. Judge only cares about money, because otherwise he would have taken 30 million a year. Jose Peraza 0 for five in the young year and 0 for one today. Yes, the A's owner wants to go to Vegas, but now Oakland is going to build them a new stadium. Is that misses inside one and zero to Peraza? The 1 0 misses low and in, 2 0. The 2 0, swing and a miss, good slider, bottom fell out of it from Manoa, 2 and 1. The 2 1, fouled off at the plate, 2 and 2 now, good low inside sinker. Yeah, I don't think they, I, I mean, the Oakland Coliseum is, 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 from what I've heard, a dump. As that backdoor slider misses, three and two now. LeMayhew on deck. The payoff pitch. Chopped to the left side. Good slider that time, but Shet backhands, fires the first in time, one away. That'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out. Hitting an even 300 now on the year. Swings to a fastball there, 0 and 1. Are you talking about that sliding catch he made, Matt? Was that today that he made that sliding grab? Or was that yesterday? Anyway, the 0 1. Smack towards center field. A humpback liner that will fall in for a base hit. Springer will toss into Bichette, but a one out single for DJ. And now that'll bring up Brock Holt, who's 0 for 2. Third baseman. Brock. Holt. Holt late on a fastball, fouls it back and out of play, 0 and 1. A little early, actually. Manoa took something off of it, only 92 on the gun. Manoa can hit 96, though. The 0 1, swing and a miss, another fastball, 0 and 2. It was yesterday, right? It was yesterday while pitching, Matt, yes. Well, it is what it is, Matt. It is what it is. That's what happens when a position player pitches. That sails outside count now one and two. Might be Manoa's last inning of work. He's only getting up two runs, but he's thrown a lot of pitches, at least for him to do it, as that misses inside two and two. LeMayhew off first, below average speed. Holt also below average speed at the plate. The 2-2. Two -two popped up to left. Coming on is Tapia. He'll make the running grab. A couple times today, I think Holt's hit one like that, and a couple of times Toppy has been able to run it down. And that'll bring up Avi Garcia, one for two with a double. As Manoa now, his 70th pitch of the day, is on its way. And Garcia's going to loop this to left for a base hit. So two on with two outs now. LeMayhew holds at second as Avi ambushes the first pitch. And that'll bring up Matt Olson, who's one for two with a single. Yankees would love some insurance here. As Olsen chases a low sinker, 0-1. Of course, a home run would also probably bust this game wide open. The 0-1 to Olsen. Smack towards left field, but Bichette is there. Makes the catch on the lip of the outfield grass on the nice humpback liner. Olsen made good contact, but hit it right at Bichette. We go top six. Yankees still up 2-0 as Alejandro Kirk. 0 for 1 now. Takes a strike. 0 and 1. 
Now that misses low, one and one. Checks his swing, did he go? No, says the first base umpire. Two and one. As he lays off the curveball. Now this foul back out of play, two and two. The 2-2 two -two to Kirk. Low, 3-2 on the changeup. Biggio on deck. Now fouls off a fastball. Still 3-2. Swing and a miss. He helped him out there on what would have been ball four. Kirk chases the changeup one away. As it looked like it slipped out of Ray's hand almost, but... He swung and he missed. And that brings up Kevin Biggio. That misses outside 1 0. Ray starting to have a couple of control problems here. That misses outside 2 0. And now Biggio, a little dribbler back towards the mound. Ray will field. Flip the first in time, two away. Jammed him with the fastball. And Biggio, a free swinger, smacked it right back up in front of the plate. Espinal now, he's 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first half at. And now popped up. Right field line. Long run for Garcia will land foul. 0 and 1. And now a strike perfectly paints the outside corner. 0 and 2. 80th pitch of the day from Ray. Popped up. Right center field. Long run for Bellinger. And there goes the perfect game. Five and two-thirds, perfect for Ray. And the first hit he gives up here in the top of the six. A bloop single to right center. And now Bo Bichette comes up as the tying run. That misses just outside, 1-0. and oh. Now this one punched on the right field line. Foul, 1-1. One and, one. and now pops him up to right. Garcia is there. Takes a step back, makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. Robbie Ray, though, dominant so far. One hit in six innings as we the five, six, seven hitters for the Yankees do up. Your attention, please. Bowden Francis now making his second appearance of the year. Inning and two-thirds pitched. Very bloated ERA, but that's what happens when you only make one appearance. Yankees are happy Manoa's out of there. Fastball, slider, changeup pitcher. Jacob. And Stallings hits a little dribbler in front of the plate. Francis will fire to first. Got him by plenty. One away. And that'll bring up Cody Bellinger. One for two with a double and a run scored. Scored the second Yankee run. Chases the low changeup. 0-1. Oh Trevor Richards and Adam Simber warming for the Jays. Probably the pitch to seventh and or eighth. As Bellinger again chases a change, 0-2. Oh okay. Exactly, Mel, exactly. Robbie Ray very dominant so far against his former club. As Bellinger late on that hanging slider. Count still 0-2. Oh Another 0-2. Oh Checks his swing, but goes around, says the umpire. Strike three, two away. And now that brings up Kiner Falefa. One for two with a single and two RBIs. Fouls a fastball back out of play. 0 oh and 1. Now brushed back with a fastball. 1 and 1. Francis will top out 93 94. As Falefa chases a good slider. 1 and 2. Oh, it's uh it's gotten to that point, Gibby, where they brought in. <laughs> the fielder, a fielder, oh well. Well, good for the Braves. Pad those stats, get that money. As this one smacked to right, but on the outfield grass, the catch is made there by Espinal. And it's a one, two, three inning for the Yankees here in the sixth. We go top seven, still two nothing New York. As leading off now is Tapia, the left fielder. Takes one a little outside, one and oh. Tapia hits better usually against lefties, but he's 0 for 2 today. He fouls this one back 1-1. One one. Now this one rolled over to first. Olsen is there. The game froze, and I have to flip it to Ray. One away. Now I bring up Vlad Jr. 
I'll help you get some put outs, I guess. One out, no one on. Takes a strike at the knees, 0-1. Oh Game wouldn't let me move Olsen. <laughs> That's fouled off 0-2. Oh Swing and a miss, strike three on the change. Or excuse me, the curve. It was the curve ball. Stallings throws the first to complete the play. Two away. That brings up George Springer, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. There's a strike at the top of the zone, 0 and 1. I'm doing all right, Taylor. I'm doing all right. Fighting with Toronto for first place as that swung on a miss, 0 and 2. Now the curve misses low, 1 and 2. Springer lays off. Now fouls a fastball back out of play. Still 1 and 2. Now back door cur or a back foot curve ball misses. Two and two. Strike three at the knees. Freezes Springer. He's got the hat trick. Three strikeouts today. Get up and stretch. It's the Taco Bell Burger King Panda Express fan cam. Yankees up 2 nothing here in this pitcher's duel. Yeah, Rymel, Rymel Tapia, right, Matt? Yeah. As Conforto, one for two, leads off, chases a pitch out of the zone, 0 and 1. Uh, I mean, there's no, you can always, I mean, it's on Game Pass, Lazy Taylor, so you can do it whenever you want, buddy. As uh, Conforto swings and misses their own two. Trying to keep it low and out of Conforto's wheelhouse. The 0 2 checks his swing, 1 and 2. That was probably the closest to the strike zone he's thrown. And now Chase is one, strike three on the slider. Kirk five. Oh, he threw it away. Kirk threw it away over the head of Guerrero Jr. Looked much like the real life Yankee game today. I don't know if you saw, that's how the Yankees got their third run. Um, but Conforto will reach on the strikeout and the error. And now that brings up Peraza, who's 0 for 2. And Peraza drops a bunt and he pops it up. A gift from Peraza. So one away here as Francis makes the catch. No, Lazy Taylor. Uh, check out my check out previous streams. I got rid of 90 I got rid of 60% of the team. In all, all seriousness, I got rid of 60% of the team. DJ LeMayhew, one for three now. <laughs> or you can go back to one of my tick my one of my TikToks from last week. <laughs> Man on first with one out for LeMayhew, who fouls a fastball back out of play, 0-1. DJ, an 11-game hitting streak, now 12 after his base hit in his last at-bat. Swings and misses over the top of a slider, 0-2. The 0-2, swing and a miss, chase the high heat, strike three, two away. And that'll bring up Brock Holt, who's 0 for 3 today with a fly, couple of flyouts to left. Holt swings to a fastball there, 0 and 1. Just missed it, tried to pull it down the right field line. Conforto off first, two outs, bottom seven, Yankees up 2-0. As Holt fouls off that fastball, 0 and 2 quickly. As Bowden Francis, or Bowden, Bowden, Either way, he's having a much better appearance here than his first outing of the year. Swing and a miss, chases the inside. Change up, Holt strikes out. So a really bad inning for the Yankees against Francis. And we go top eight. Guriel Jr. leading off. And Guriel pops the first pitch up to LeMayhew. That'll help raise pitch count. LeMayhew on the lip of the outfield grass makes the catch, one away. And I'll bring up Matt Chapman now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. He takes a strike in the outside part of the plate. 0 and 1. So this is chop foul. 0 and 2. Another foul ball there from Chapman as he stays alive. Another 0 2 in the 100th, 100th pitch of the day is chopped up the middle. And by a diving LeMayhew for a base hit. A seeing eye single there. And that'll bring up the tying run to the plate again for the Blue Jays. And Alejandro Kirk, who struck out in his last at-bat, takes a strike, 0-1. Also a double play candidate. 
As he chops a change up foul, 0 and 2. Now a back foot slider he lays off, 1 and 2. Now in the dirt, blocked by Stallings. He'll throw down just in case, but 2 and 2 now to the catcher, Kirk. Popped him up, jammed him with a fastball. Stallings. The opposite batter's box makes the catch two away here in the eighth. Nobody up in the Yankee pen. And that'll bring up Kevin Biggio, who broke the Yankees back in the first game of this series. He takes a strike on the inside black 0-1. Hanging curve is in there for a strike 0-2. And now a hanging slider. Ray got away with a couple mistakes there. Bellinger in left center makes the catch. And we go bottom eight. Yankees still up 2-0. Uh, there's not major differences, Taylor. No, I mean, there's some minor animation things. Things are a little smoother. Obviously, different broadcasters. Um, Avi Garcia, two for three with a double and a single. Really the only Yankee to consistently hit the ball well today. France is still in there as a long reliever. That misses outside, though, 1-0. and Obviously, the co-op mode for online as Garcia swings and misses on a hanging slider well out in front, 1-1. One and one. He saw it. He recognized it. He knew he could do damage, but he missed it. And now chases another slider, 1-2. The 1-2 from Francis. Smack to the right side, knocked down by Guerrero. He'll flip to Francis, covering one away. And now that brings up Matt Olson, who's one for three with a single. Takes a pitch high and maybe a little in, one and oh. I've done a little bit of conquest, dark stroke, yes. Is this one chopped up the middle because of the shift Bichette there behind second? Fires the first in time, two away. It does feel like everything's a little better balanced. Like they squashed a couple of the uh, the mechan like the the things that people take advantage of. As Jacob Stallings over two with a walk and a run scored. Hammers one foul, zero oh and one. Giovanni Gallegos warming for the Yankees just in case in the pen. But it looks like Robbie Ray is going to try and get that complete game shutout as Stallings smacks a fastball foul. 0-2. And now Stallings is going to take this one to right, and that's going to dunk him for a base hit. Nice play there by Stallings. Nice swing, I should say. As he stayed with that pitch, and he picks up a hit. And now that brings up Cody Bellinger, one for three with a double. And Cody just missed that hanging slider, 0-1. Francis right now, and he's starting to get a little tired, but not too bad. Yeah, that salary cap in the game is real weird, Mel. As that drifts outside to Cody, one and one. Oh, man, did you guys see a lot of people were giving me guff on TikTok because I keep calling Cody... The American Nightmare. Like, I don't know where that comes from. Like, I know that it's Cody Rhodes. Like, I, un I, I understand. Nobody, nobody has fun anymore. Remember fun? I used to have fun, right? <laughs> the 1-2 to Cody. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll end the eighth. The Yankees get a hit, but leave a man on. We go top nine. Still 2-0 New York. Santiago Espinal leading off. He's one for two with a single. He broke up the no-no against Ray. Santiago. And he's going to loop this one towards right, but LeMayhew will make the catch. One pitch, one out. Going for the complete game shutout as Bo Bichette now 0 for 3. Takes one outside, 1-0. One and 0. Now this one chopped foul, 1-1. One and 1-1. One. Swing and a miss, bad swing on a good curve, one and two. Now this one popped up to right. Garcia comes in, makes the catch, two away. And Robbie Ray is an out away from a complete game shutout. And it's Rymel Rime Rime Tapia, who's 0 for 3 tonight with a couple of ground outs and a, couple of, and a strikeout, I believe. 
Fouls this back and out of play, 0-1. Curve in the dirt, 1-1. One one. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah, I'm in the same I'm in a similar boat, Mel. In a similar boat. As this one loop to second. LeMahieu on a short hop fires the first. And Robbie Ray with the complete game shutout of his former team. A two-hitter. And the Yankees win two to nothing. What a gem by Ray, improves the 3-0 as a Yankee. Manoa drops the 2-1. The Yankees have now taken two of the first three from Toronto and look to win the series now and win 3-1 and cement themselves a game and a half in first place. As it is, the Yankees and Jays flip-flop now. Yankees half a game up on Toronto. Yankees 9-4, Toronto 8-4. But Robbie Ray, what a win. I don't blame you, Mel. I don't blame you. Nine innings, nine strikeouts, two hits. Manoa, a hard luck loser. Three strikeouts, a walk, only two runs in five innings. But Espinal and Chapman, a couple of singles, the only thing that Ray gave up. Yeah, if Volpe's ready, I would put, make Volpe the guy next year, but that's me. So the Yankees, I mean, credit where it's due. The Blue Jays pitching has really shut the Yankee offense down, but the Yankee offense, at least the last two games, have done the same. So can Cal Quantrill do the same against Barrios? That's fair. If you can get him cheap, Mel, that's fair. He's good speed off the bench. He can play the infield positions, back emergency catcher. So Cal Quantrill versus Jose Barrios. Yankees looking to win the series three to one. And improve to ten and four. Toronto looking to split the series. And leave New York a half game still up on the Yankees. The bullpen is completely fresh, obviously, after that amazing start by uh, Ray. And then let's see. Uh, let's see. LeMayhew could use a day off. So let's put in Oswaldo Cabrera. He's got good speed at the top of the lineup. He's a switch hitter. Yeah, I didn't want to trade Cortez, dark stroke, but it just felt like the right move, and I needed to get rid of Stanton. And I liked also Tristan McKenzie. That's fair, Mel. That's fair. Yeah, I like I, Zan Xander. I like Xander Bogarts. Obviously, JT Real Muto, of course, as well. Um... Let's see. I'm almost tempted to give Cody at least a half day off, but I don't want Hicks in center. I don't think. Um, I mean, when I did do it last year, Mel, it took thirty million a year. It took twenty nine million a year last year. Um. Actually, you know what? Maybe we have Falefa lead off. I like this. Cabrera batting ninth. Witt will bat eighth. Conforto seventh. Stalling six. Bellinger five. Garcia four. Olsen three. Hicks two. Falefa will lead off. Falefa, yeah. I'm still trying to think if I give Cody like a half day off as the DH and let Hicks play in center. Ah, it's too much of a drop in defense. And when Quantrill hit gets gets a lot more contact than the other pit the other pitchers do. Um 
I mean, I could also... Actually, you know what? This is what I'll do. Aaron Hicks will not start today. Tim LaCastro will get a start. And Tim LaCastro, we won't lose much... With his speed, we won't lose much in center field. So we'll let... And you know what? And then we're going to put Cabrera at the top of the lineup. Ah, uh, but there's a righty on the mound. Never mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this. Cabrera about on the lineup. Hicks. Now, what's come for? Maybe I put... I'm trying to think. Because Avi... Maybe, you know what I do? I'm going to put Avi in center. I'm going to put Hicks in, in, in left. I'm going to put Conforto in right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Hicks will be in left. Avi will get the start in center field for Bellinger, who will DH today. Falefa will lead off. Hicks will bat in the two-hole. Cabrera at second to give LeMahieu a day off. So try to keep everybody fresh. Yeah, I know. I, exactly, though. Exactly. Well, because I don't like to have... If I don't, if I can avoid it, I don't like having a, a lineup that's more... That's unbalanced. Right? And now, it's from the Joe Torre days. It's just you want to keep guys righty-lefty switch. Righty-lefty switch. You want to... You know. He's the fastest guy in the game, but I, I, pro, I save him dark stroke for lefties. So... Aaron Hicks has shown good power this year, but right now his average is wallowing around 220. Right, because Castro's a righty, right? So if he was a lefty or a switch hitter, I would have given him the start today. Cal Quantrill, 1-0 in two starts as a Yankee. A 2-9-2 ERA in 12 and a third innings. Pitch a whip just over one. Six strikeouts, three walks. Not really a strikeout pitcher. Pitches more to contact, but he can get one when he needs one. And leading off, hitting 234 is Bobachet. First pitch from Quantrill. Oof, called the ball on the inside part of the plate. And Quantrill not happy. Already not getting the 50-50 call. 1-0. As this is fouled back and out of play by Bichette. 1-1. One and one. Now swing and a miss on a good slider. 1-2. and two. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Come to chase the slider twice in a row. Strike three. One away. You can see there, borderline pitch was called a ball. That was called a strike. Swing and a miss there on the slider. And then he got him to chase that one well out of the zone. From the Google Cloud stout cast. Yeah, you know, this is probably the first game tonight. Because I didn't really watch yesterday's game because I was busy with work. Is this one hammered to left? Hicks is there. We'll make the catch, so two away now here in the top of the first. I didn't even get a chance to give you who I was talking about. So you look at the Toronto starting lineup. That was Espinal playing center tonight who flied out. He's followed by Vlad Jr. to Oscar Hernandez and right. Guriel Jr., your DH. Chapman, your third baseman. Then three lefties in a row. McGuire, Biggio, and Gusuke Kato. Oh, goodness, that is a that is a name. Somebody do me a favor. Look up how to say that name. As Vlad Jr., three homers, nine RBIs, a 217 average, steps up to the dish and takes a strike all in one. I do as well, Dark Stroke. That is a very good point. The stat cast feature is a lot of fun. But yeah, I haven't watched a lot of Yes Network games. Now, everything I've seen so far for the Yankees, everything's been almost a national game or MLB Network or Fox or whatever. So as Vlad checks his swing, it goes around one and two. And then tonight I was watching the Yankees and the Rangers. Up the middle it goes. Cabrera's there because of the shift. Fires the first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Quantrill. We go bottom one. No score. Kiner Falefa leading off for the first time this year. 292 average, two homers, nine RBIs. He'll start things off against Jose Barrios. Slurve, sinker, fastball, change pitcher. Lots of movement on his pitches. And this one is getting moved to fairly deep center field. Going back is uh, uh, Espinal. He'll make the catch just shy of the track. One away. 
Falefa hit it to the deepest part of the park. The wind is carrying out tonight. So it'll be interested to see what happens to the fly balls. So you see there Falefa that's followed by Aaron Hicks, Matt Olson, Avi Garcia batting cleanup. Cody Bellinger in the five hole to DH tonight. Jacob Stallings behind the plate. Conforto in right. Bobby Witt Jr. back at third. And Oswaldo Cabrera getting the start in place of LeMayhew tonight batting ninth. The switch hitter four for five in his young career. Hicks hitting 220, the worst Yankee in the lineup, aside from Peraza, who started the year 0 for 7. Smacks that foul 0 and 1. Hicks might be on the chopping block. Rolls this over to the right side. Knocked down by uh, Bichette. Hicks, as I, just as I talk about that, Hicks gets himself an infield single. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Pauly as well, Dark Stroke. It was great to hear him and David Cohn again. As Matt Olson now steps up to the dish, batting in the two hole, and rolls this over to the right side, could be two, to flip the second for one, back to first in time. And that will end, excuse me, out of the three hole for Olson. that'll end the inning. So despite the man on, nobody, excuse me, despite the hit, nobody left on because of the double play, and at the end of one full, still no score in the Bronx. Good turn there at second by Biggio, or well, good fielding at second by Biggio, and good turn by Bichette, it's to Oscar Hernandez now. Playing in right tonight, hit 211 with one homer and two RBIs. Takes one low, one and zero. Oh. Yeah, they they really did a better job of his. They really nerfed his contact numbers, Mel, as that misses inside two and zero, oh. which makes sense, you know, especially the couple last couple of years he's had. This one fouled back out of play two and one, but we got a hit there despite being erased on the double play. Now Hernandez up in the count, three and one. Guriel Jr. on deck. Now this one line towards right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Conforto racing over. Hernandez thinks about two with a wide turn at first, but nice play by Conforto to cut that off and hold him to a leadoff single. Now that brings up Guriel Jr. hitting 277 on the year. Takes a strike at the top of the zone. 0 oh and 1. The 0 1. Pop foul and out of play. 0 and 2. Ooh, just a little outside, said the umpire. 1 and 2. Now, curveball rolled over to third. Wit to second for one. On the first. Nice turn by Cabrera. A 5 4 3 around the horn double play. And now, quickly, nobody on for the Blue Jays as the Yankees return the double play favor. And Matt Chapman steps up with two outs and no one on. Swings through a fastball there, 0 and 1. Now this one popped up to left. Hicks takes a couple steps to his left, makes the catch, and ends the inning. Exactly, Mel, the Yankee defense showing off their own leather in the top of the second. We go bottom two, still scoreless in the Bronx. Avi Garcia now leading off, 292 average, four homers, nine RBIs. His first start of the year in center field tonight. Giving Bellinger a half day off as DH. Swings through a sinker there, 0-1. I would love to see a Jacob Stalling home run, Mel. <laughs> the 0-1, swing and a miss on a slurve, 0-2. Good pitch there by Barrios and Garcia chased. The 0-2. Swing and a miss through the sinker late. Strike three. Paints the outside corner. A perfect pitch. And now that I bring up Cody Bellinger, who's uh, hitting a nice 333 on the year with five homers, 11 RBIs. And Cody going to smack this right down the left field line for a base hit. Again, taking what the defense gives him. And it's a one-out double for Bellinger. His seventh double already of the year. You keep shifting against me. I'm going to keep smacking it to left. And that brings up Jacob Stallings. 0 for 3 yesterday with a walk and a run scored. Hitting 341 on the young year. Ooh, fouls off a slurve. Actually, excuse me, he was 1 for th one for 3 yesterday with a walk. With a single as he smacks that foul. 0 and 1. Three homers, seven RBIs for Stalling. Just a bit out in front of that slurve. Now chases another one out of the zone, 0-2. Okay. Bellinger off second, bottom two, one out. 
Three in a row. Chases the slurves out of the zone. Kirk throws the first. In time, two away. And that'll bring up Michael Conforto now. Hitting 412 and playing in right tonight. Takes one inside, 1-0. One oh. Sorry, Mel, I didn't get you your home run. <laughs> and now Conforto chases a sinker, 1-1. One one. Barrios working very efficiently here. It's Conforto just late on that changeup. Recognized it too late that that was going to hit the zone. It'll be a 1-2. Oh, what a slurve there from Barrios. Just four for his back foot and Conforto chase. So despite the one out double, the Yankees do not score. We go top three. Still no score in the Bronx for Reese McGuire. Hitting 240. Takes a strike in the outside corner, all in one. McGuire killed Cole in game one of this series. It was a big reason why the Yankees lost. So that misses low and in one on one. Him and Biggio at the bottom of the lineup. See if Quantrill has as much success as Woodruff did against them. As he pokes this to third. Bobby Whitfields fires the first in time. One away. Oh, Andrew, now you know how I felt yesterday after the Yankees, man. I mean, it, it happens. Nestor Cortez. Nestor Cortez is the best pitcher on the Yankees. Does this one ha happen? Hammered to left center field and is going to split the outfielders. Garcia gives chase, gets it against the wall, and thinking about third but holding at second with a double is Biggio. His second of the year, and that brings up... Kos announcer says Gosuke Kato, and so that's what we're going with. The game says Gosuke Kato. I think his first big league at bat takes a foul ball, hits a foul ball 0-1. <laughs> well, look at the results. Look at the results, Andrew. From the second half of last year and the first start of this year, Nestor Cortez is better than Cole. That's a fact. I'm not, I'm not, that's not, that's not me being facetious. That's a fact. Nestor Cortez has better numbers than uh, Garrett Cole from the second half of last year plus the first start of this year. So that misses low and uh, outside, one and two. Now climbs the ladder, two and two, as the rookie lays off. Now pops him up. Shallow center, Garcia coming on. Will make the catch, throws behind Biggio, but he gets back to second with two outs. He may not have the wins, but look at his ERA, and Cole has the strikeouts, but look at his ERA. Look at how, look at how, in terms of high pressure situations, Nestor Cortez pitches better than Cole. Well, I'll give you Cole for like Barrios and Gossman. <laughs> that misses outside 2 0. Checks his swing, did not go, says the umpire 3 0. Santiago Espinal on deck. There's a strike, 3 and 1. And now popped him up, got underneath it, deep left field. Hicks is there, though. Makes the catch. That'll end the inning. So despite the double, the Jays don't score. We go bottom third. Yankees and Jays tied 0-0. Yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe Yankees. I mean, look, if Boone actually lets him pitch, if Boone actually lets him pitch, I think Nestor could. could you never know, man. Third baseman. Yeah, they'll probably be more fun to watch than the Yankees, Andrew. That's true. Is Bobby Witt Jr. now leading off here, hitting 279? And Bobby Witt goes opposite field, fairly deep, racing back, looking up, making the catch on the track. Hernandez ran it down in front of the scoreboard for the first out of the inning. And now that brings up Oswaldo Cabrera hitting 800, four for five with an RBI. Bobby Witt gave it a ride, but just missed it. And now Cabrera fouls a changeup back and out of play, 0 and 1. The 0 1 to Cabrera. Fouled back and out of play, 0 and 2. Just missed the sinker there. The ball is carrying the right tonight. Witt didn't hit it well, but the ball carried. And now this one chopped back up the middle. Tough play for Bachet. Fires the first. Not in time. Cabrera beats it out for an infield single. 
Once that wasn't fielded by Barrios, Cabrera smelled a base hit and Bachet couldn't get it there in time. So a one out single. Yeah, Cole, I want to see Cole get 100 pitches tomorrow, Mel. As Falefa fouls off a fastball 0 and 1. Now swing and a miss on a sinker, 0 and 2 to Falefa. There goes Cabrera trying to steal the pitch in the dirt for a ball. The throw down by McGuire, not in time. So Cabrera, his first career stolen base. That's been the difference with these Yankees and Yankees in the past. A lot more speed, even with Dominguez getting hurt. 7.05 on the dock. Yeah, Mel. The 1 2. Skied to right, fairly deep. Hernandez is there, has a good arm. Cabrera will help stay put as he throws a, a dot, a BB to Chapman. And that'll bring up Aaron Hicks, who's one for one with a single in his first at bat. I agree, Yankees. The bullpen has looked really good. I just hope the bullpen doesn't get tired too soon because of the way Boone uses it. As that misses down and in, 1-0. The 1-0 to Hicks. Strike hits the inside black, 1-1. One and one. Good sinker there from Barrios. That's the one thing about Hicks in the lineup. He takes more pitches than any other Yankee hitter. Swing and a miss over the top of that slurve. One and two, perfect pitch from Barrios. That was a strike either way. But just missing it was Hicks. Cabrera off second, the one, two. Chopped foul as Hicks stays alive. Still one and two. Barrios using a lot more of his sinker tonight. As Hicks spoils that one foul. Another 1-2, and another foul ball from Hicks. This will be the seventh pitch of the at-bat, 30th of the night for Barrios. This one chopped to the left side, Bichette is there. Backhands, fires the first in time, so the one-out single and stolen base do not hurt the Jays, and at the end of three, it's nothing-nothing. As we look at the Taco Bell Burger King fan cam! Fan cam! That gets annoying, guys, let me know. <laughs> Santiago Espinal 0 for 1 with a fly out in the first. Now leads off here in the top of the fourth against Cal Quantrill. Pitch is high, 1 and 0. Espinal, a former Red Sox farmhand, smacks this foul, 1 and 1. At least according to that graphic. 1 1. Little dribbler in front of the plate. Stallings will feel, but it'll be foul, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt. Stallings finds it, flips the first in time, one away. And that'll bring up Vlad Jr., who's 0 for 1. Fouls off a fastball, 0 and 1. The 0 1 to Vladdy. Ripped to third because of the shift. Witt is there. Fires the first in time to away. Played him perfectly. Yep, ex very much, Mel. Very true. Very, very true. It's all about pitching. It's to Oscar Hernandez, one for one with a single. Now steps up to the dish. He's nobody on, two outs, and takes a strike right down Broadway. 0 oh and 1. Lays off the low change up, 1 and 1. Now late on a fastball, and the count goes to one and two as he fouls it back. The one, two. Ripped to the right side, but right at Cabrera, who makes the catch on a line, and it's a one, two, three inning. Back to the fan cam, Taco Bell, Burger King, Panda Express, Jersey Mike's. Anybody want to give me food? We go in bottom four, still no score. I'm glad we didn't sign Correa. I don't like him whatsoever. Yankee man, Yankees, I am sorry. I am not a fan of Correa whatsoever. Um, I'm glad, I, I I wish Falefa was doing better, but as uh, Olsen 0 for 1 chops this to the left side, only man on the left side of the infield is Chapman, makes the play one away. 
I mean, I would, I would have rather, I would have liked to have Trevor Story. I like Trevor Story a lot. As Avi Garcia now 0 for 1 steps up to the plate with one out and no one on. Again, that nasty slider. Garcia, 3 for 16 now in his career against Barrios. That slurve is a nasty, nasty pitch. And now this one ripped to the left side. He hit it perfect, but because of the shift, Pachette is there. Fires the first two away. The shift hurt the Jays. The shift hurts the Yankees. Although I think Bichette would have been there anyway. Cody. Bellinger. That brings up Cody Bellinger, one for one with a double, putting up MVP numbers so far. Five homers, 11 RBIs, a 347 average. And now a little dribbler back to the mound. Rios there, fires the first in time, and then the one, two, three inning. And we go back to the fan cam. We got another pitcher's duel here. Third pitcher's duel in a row. Taco Bell, Burger King, Panda Express, Jersey Mike's. Wow, Mel, so close, so close, man. That, those parlays are tough, man. As that misses inside the Guriel 1-0. and oh. Quantro, a little trouble spotting the fastball tonight, but all the other pitchers are working. As Bobby Wick Jr. makes a beauty of a play at third and fires the first to rob him of a base hit one away. Bobby Wick really been working on his defensive drills. He knows a couple of balls that he booted the other night were what, well, the next guy up, Biggio, hit a home run. So Witt really working over there at third, and that brings up Matt Chapman now, who's 0 for 1. And he's going to rip this to Cabrera. Another rookie gets tested. He'll flip the first in time two away. And that'll bring up Reese McGuire, who grounded out two-third in the third, if I remember correctly. Takes the strike in the inner half, 0 and 1. Now this one popped up to center. Garcia now takes a couple steps back, but makes the catch. Another one, two, three inning for Quantrill. We go bottom five. Yankees and Blue Jays still scoreless. Leading off is the catcher, Jacob Stallings. He's 0 for 1. Barrios misses high with the fastball, 1 and 0. Yankees know they got to try and really lock in because Barrios is just mowing them down. The 1-0 misses. Oh, they called it a strike. It's three inches off the plate, but they call it a strike. One and one. And now Stallings pops it up. Guerrero in foul ground will make the over-the-shoulder catch. One away. How an at-bat changes because of a bad ump. Oh, it's Laz Diaz behind the plate. That's why. Michael Conforto now 0 for 1. Swing and a miss there on a sinker, 0-1. Oh, I'm just going to assume it's last Diaz. The 0-1, oh, smacked on the left field line, foul, 0-2. Oh, it's the ghost of Joe West making that call. He's not dead, he's just retired. And, you know, hope he enjoys his retirement. Called strike three at the top of the zone. The strike zone suddenly got very wide, very quickly. Two away now for Bobby Witt, who hit the ball to deep right in his first at-bat. Two homers, three RBIs on his rookie campaign. And popped him up. Just missed the fastball. Shallow center. Espinal makes the catch, and that'll retire the Yankees here in the fifth. We go top six. Still no score. As Kevin Biggio, who doubled in his first at-bat, will lead off against Quantrill. His 50th pitch of the day is inside 1-0. Oh. Yeah, um, there's a strike at the knees, 1-1. One and one. Now this one popped foul in the left field line, 1-2. and two. The 1-2 to Biggio, popped foul again, came after him with the four-seamer. Curve in the dirt, would not chase, count levels at two. The 2-2 two -two to Biggio. Strike three, frozen with the low slider, one away. And that'll bring up Kosuke 
Cato, 0 for 4 on the year, 0 for 1 to te today. Popped up, shallow right. Cabrera going back will make the catch in front of Conforto. Two away here in the sixth. And that brings up Bo Bichette, who's 0 for 2 with a strike on a flyout. 1 for 15 this series. As he takes a strike in the inner half of the plate, 0 and 1 as Quantrill. Seeming, seems to be have found that fastball here late in his uh, outing. Swing and a miss by Bichette, 0 and 2. And this one rolled over to third. Witt is there. Fires the first in time. Got him by a stride. So again, Quantrill pitches to a lot of contact, not a lot of strikeouts. But you take it. You'll always take it. Six shutout innings. We go bottom six. Cabrera, Falefa, and Hicks. Cabrera, one for one today with a single and a stolen base. Smacks this one foul, 0-1. I mean, Jeter, the problem with Cole is that he's a head case. I think he's going to do what he did last year. I think he'll heat up. He'll have a really good bulk of the year. And then he'll fall off again in September and choke in the playoffs. The 0-2 misses outside 1-2. and two. I don't think Cole is reliable in the biggest of spots. I think him struggling on opening day was because they played with him with kid gloves in spring training. As this one laced on the left field line... Just foul. I think he needs to build his arm strength up again. I think that tomorrow, hopefully, he goes and gives us at least 90 pitches and six strong. As swing and a miss, strike three. McGuire will fire to first to complete the play, one away. I think Garrett Cole is a two. He's not a one. He's a two that's getting paid like a one. You know, and I made the joke earlier. I get it's only one time through the rotation. But if the playoffs start, I want Nestor Cortez starting game one. <laughs> Kiner Falefa smacks this one to right fairly deep. But Hernandez is there, makes the catch two away. And that'll bring up Aaron Hicks. Hicks one for two with a single. Hicks has very good power. He's got four home runs on the year and limited play time. Fouls off a low sinker there, 0 oh and 1. The 0 oh 1 inside, 1 and 1. As Hicks glares at Barrios. It'll be a 1 1 now. Oh, just missed that slurve, 1 and 2. That was the pitch to hit. But Hicks just a little out in front. Got it off the end of the bat and popped it foul. As now the 1-2 misses high and levels the count up at 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. Two -two. Smacked on the left field line. Foul. Just a bit late that time. Tried to hit, drop that slur into the top of the zone. It'll be another 2-2. Two -two. Now this one up the middle. Oh, it's off Barrios. Guerrero and Hicks racing. Hicks beats it out for another infield single. And Toronto fans everywhere hold their breath to check on Barrios. Hicks hit it hard. He seems to be okay. But Hicks gets his second hit of the day. And that brings up Matt Olson now with two outs and a man on. And Olson just misses that power sinker. 0 oh and 1. Just a bit late. Again, that was the pitch. The 0-1, swing and a miss on a changeup 0-2. Wishes he had that one back, because oof, that looked nasty. The 0-2, low, 1-2. Hicks has average speed at first. The 1-2, hammered through the right side, that's a base hit. Turned on the slurve, Hicks goes to second. Station to station baseball right now with two outs. And back-to-back -back singles by the Yankees. And now that'll bring up Avi Garcia, who's 0 for 2 today. And rolls this one over to the left side. Bichette charges, flips to second, and that'll end the inning. So Yankees get a couple of hits, but nothing else as we look at the fan cam. The Burger King, Taco Bell, Bavarian pretzel fan cam. I saw something like you had a pretzel there. 
Wetzel's Pretzels. There we go. Somebody give me some money. <laughs> Santiago Espinal 0 for 2 today. Leads off the top of the 7th. Takes the strike 0 and 1. Cal Quantrill still out there. Been pitching a gem so far, as has Barrios, to be fair. And doesn't get the 50-50 call, and Quantrill not happy as the umpire, Laz Diaz, has again been inconsistent. Swing and a miss by Espinal, 1 and 2. Now that misses low, 2 and 2. This one now looped on the right field line, but that'll curve foul, still 2 and 2. Lays off the slider, trying to expand the zone. The count now full. And now popped him up. Late on a fastball. Conforto in from right, makes the catch, one away. And that brings up Vladdy Jr. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of ground outs to third. Popped him up now to center. Garcia there, now takes a step back. Makes the catch, two away. And that'll bring up to Oscar Hernandez, who's one for two with a single tonight. One of the two Toronto hits. Yankees have five hits, neither team with a run. Now Hernandez to deep center, but Garcia is there, will settle under it and make the catch. Get up and stretch, we're going bottom seven in a scoreless pitcher's duel. Yankees in Toronto, no score. Cody Bellinger, one for two with a double now. Leading off for the Yankees, the designated hitter. Cody. Oh, did it plunk him? It came close. Cody just jock knifed out of the way. 1 and 0. Now pops him up foul on the high slurve, but I'll reach the seats 1 and 1. Now swing and a miss on a good sinker that falls out of the zone 1 and 2 to Cody. Barrios still charging along, still super strong. Has not had a lot of long innings. And Bellinger helps him out there and chases one in the dirt. Strike three, the throw to first in time, one away. Yankees just having a terrible time trying to pick up that slurve from Barrios. As Jacob Stallings now 0 for 2, takes, oh, they call that one a strike. 0 and 1. Technically, that's correct. It just hit the black, but Diaz was not giving Quantrill that same pitch. As now Stallings chases a slurve. Foul tipped into the glove, 0-2. Oh, late on a power sinker. Barrios dials it up to 95, two away. And that'll bring up Michael Conforto, who's 0-2 with a pair of strikeouts. Now this is fouled off to the left side, 0 oh and 1. Out in front of the changeup. You see power pitch, power pitch, power pitch from the on-deck circle, and then a changeup. That's fouled off to the left side, 0 oh and 2. Conforto out in front a couple of times. And now chases the slurve. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. And that'll end the seventh, a 10-pitch inning for Barrios. And now Gurriel Jr. 0 for 2 leading off. Both pitchers, 68 pitches through seven innings as this has popped up to right. Conforto is there, makes the catch, one away. Now Matt Chapman 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground out. Little broken bat dribbler in front of home plate. Stallings gets an angle, fires the first, two away. And now that brings up the dangerous Reese McGuire. And again, not getting the borderline pitches from Diaz. 1-0. and oh. There's a strike at the knees, 1-1. One and one. Now pop them up. Shallow left. Falefa goes back, makes the catch. And that'll end the inning. Cal Quantrill. Matching his buddy Robbie Ray. We're through seven and a half. No score for either side. As we look at the Burger King Taco Bell fan cam. Pizza Hut too. How about that? We'll throw that into the list of sponsors. I wouldn't want. Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. 
Bobby Witt Jr. has hit the ball hard twice, but there's only two loud outs for it. Barrios first pitch to him. Swing and a miss on that sinker, 0-1. Maybe, Mel, maybe. This is fouled back and out of play, 0-2. Good swing there by Witt, but very early on it. The 0-2. Popped foul and out of play. Witt did a good job to spoil that backdoor slurve. Still 0-2. Again, the wind is carrying the right, but nobody's gotten a hold of anything tonight as Witt pushes that foul, making Barrios work a little bit. 0-2 still. Now Witt chases one out of the zone. Strike three, one away. And that'll bring up Cabrera. He's one for two with a single. Cabrera tries to bunt his way on. He did that down in Texas. Can't blame the kid for just trying to get on base. He knows the situation. But one for two tonight with a single. Hammers one foul, 0-2. Oh well, out in front of that changeup. That was in his happy zone. But out in front of it. The 0-2 to Cabrera. Inside, 1-2. and two. Good job to take the slurve. The one, two, punched foul. Cabrera spoils a sinker there. It's the problem with Toronto is they got a lot of guys with number one stuff and Barrios is one of them. As this one pushed to the left side, Chapman there gobbles it up, fires the first. In time, got Speedy Cabrera by half a stride, two away. And now that brings up Kiner Falefa, who's 0 for 3 tonight. Had, a, had the only RBIs in yesterday's game, though. Had a big uh, two RBI single. Fouls off a slurb, 0 oh and 1. Falefa 2 for 13 with three strikeouts in his career against Barrios. That's a lot of Yankee numbers against him. As he swings and misses on a high fastball, 0 oh and 2. The 0 oh 2. Chopped foul, staying alive. Now takes one outside, one and two. In real life, Andrew? Yes. In the game, eh, maybe not. That's fouled off to the right side, one and two. Just having a bad series, like a lot of guys, actually. The one, two. A little blooped on the right side. Going to be a tough play. Guerrero will field it in foul territory. Falefa too fast. If he, didn't, if he didn't wait for it to kick foul, it would have been a hit anyway. And now this one rolled over to the left side. Tried to pull an outside slurve. But Shet fires the first in time. And we go top nine. It'll be the eight, nine, one hitters for Toronto. And Cal Quantrill still out there. Biggio one for two with a double. Takes a strike, 0 and 1. Nobody up in the Yankee pen, which might be a mistake now that I think about it. Giovanni Gallegos will start to warm for the Yankees, just in case. The 1 1 to Biggio. Popped him up. Left field. Hicks racing in. Makes the catch, 1 away. Gosuke Kato now. It sounds like go suck a toe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just realized that. Is that Mrs. High 1-0? Oh? <laughs> but that's how the, that's what they said in my ear. That's what it sounds like, according to the PA guys. Swinging a miss one and one. Gosuke Kato. The one one. Pop foul and out of play one and two. Lays off the curve, two and two. Good pitch there, but he would not expand the zone. The two, two. Driven to right center field. That's gonna get down for a base hit. Garcia will cut it off. Cato with his first hit of the year. And his first career hit, I'm gonna guess. First major league hit. They'll keep that ball. And that brings up Bo Bichette, who's 0 for three. Takes a strike right down Broadway. 
And now takes a slider low, one and one. Now it's this one driven to left, but Hicks is there. Jammed him with the fastball. Good pitching by Quantrill. Two away. And that'll bring up Santiago Espinal. This will be the last hitter no matter what for Quantrill. Takes a strike, 0-1. Now just inside as Laz Diaz continues to squeeze. The 1-1. One, one. Just outside, 2-1. and one. Now this one over the head of Bobby Witt Jr. and down the left field line. Coteau is on his horse. Hicks gets it in the corner. Coteau is being waved home. The relay is not in time. Espinal turned on the changeup, his third double of the year, his fourth RBI. And Cal Quantrill right now looks like he's gonna be the hard luck loser. As in comes Gallegos to get the last out of the ninth. Speed kill, two, the two games that we lose this series, it was the bottom of the Blue Jays lineup. What a shame for Quantrill. And again, it starts with Laz Diaz not giving him the 50-50 pitch that would have been strike two. The changeup got too much of the plate. Espinal turned on it after the slider. And it's 1-0 Jays. As Coteau off with the crack of the bat. And Hicks playing in left field tonight to give Bellinger the night off. Typically, that's Conforto, who has a much better arm. And so everything conspired against the Yankees as Glad takes one outside two and two. Still two and two. Swing and a miss. Gallegos gets him. But the Yankees are now down one nothing as Santiago Espinal delivers a clutch two-out RBI double. And we go bottom nine, last licks for the Yankees as Hicks will lead off. He's two for three with a pair of singles. And Barrios trying to do the same as Quantrill, trying to go nine strong. Hicks takes one high and outside, one and oh. The Jays have a man warming up. And now Hicks takes one outside again, 2-0. and oh. The 2-0, oh, 3-0. Oh. Hicks is going to take all the way. Olsen on deck. The 3-0. Oh. Right down Broadway, no surprise. Well, almost a little high, but still 3-1 and one now. And now strike two, the count now full to Hicks. The payoff pitch. Oh, it was ball four and he dribbles it in front of the plate. The throw to first in time, one away. That changeup just started to drift, drift. It was too close and now it brings up Matt Olson, who's one for three tonight. And Olsen's going to go the other way for a base hit. Matty Olsen takes what the defense gives him to get on. And that's going to do it for Barrios. And in comes Jordan Romano. Six for six on the year in save situations. Meanwhile, Matt Olsen will be pinch run for by Tim LaCastro, the fastest man in baseball. Anything into the gap will score him. Romano is a fastball slider pitcher. And Garcia fouls off a hanging slider, 0-1. Oh the 0-1, oh they pitch out to check on LoCastro, 1-1. One one. Well, to be fair, if Hicks walked, <laughs> well, it would have been a different at-bat to Olsen anyway. The 1-1, one, one. they pitch out again, 2-1. Do they dare pitch out three times in a row?
They check on... Oh, ho, 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 that was close at first. They check on La Castro because I wasn't... They weren't going to pitch out three times in a row. Oh, they picked him off. Ooh, I thought, oh, I thought I thought they picked him off. Oh, Guerrero, if that's a better throw over to first, they had La Castro leaning. Not going to send him now. The 2-1. And Garcia lines it right at Biggio. Oh, he hit it right on the screws, but right at Biggio. And the last hope now is Cody Bellinger. One for three with a double tonight. LaCastro, the pinch runner off first. Yankees down one nothing. They pitch out. LaCastro off first. Oh, Cody chases a high fastball, one and one. Just a hair late as Romano hit 98. The wind is carrying to right. Oh, blew the fastball by him again. One and two. 99 on the gun. The one, two. Oof. Again, Cody spoiling that one as he just got a piece of it. As that drifts outside, count level now at two. La Castro off first. Yankees down, one nothing. Barrios pitched a heck of a game. And Cody Bellinger, this one to deep right field. It is caught. Oh, I thought he might have got it into the jet stream. But it's going to die on the warning track. And the Yankees and Jays split this four-game series two games apiece. Bellinger gave it a ride, but he didn't hit it enough. I think if that ball gets higher, it carries out. Barrios improves the 2-1. and one. Quantrill drops the 1-1. One and one. Romano gets his seventh save of the year. The Yankees lose 5-3 and 1-0. The Blue Jays lose 2-0 and 1-0. Barrios, your player of the game. What a heartbreaking game. Quantrill, no walks, four hits, three strikeouts, one run in eight and two-thirds. Barrios... Nine strikeouts, six hits in eight and a third. No walks and no runs. Cody Bellinger gave it a ride and everybody at the stadium thought it might go. Instead, though, look at, look at that. 5-3. This was the game. We should have won this game. But Cole just fell apart for whatever reason in the seventh and gave up, a, gave up four runs. And that's tough. That's a heartbreaker. Again, part of it, you wonder, you know, the Yankees had some of the backups in there, but still, they had their chances. And so did Toronto. But finally, Toronto broke through in the top of the ninth. And now Yankees fall to 9-5. and five. Toronto improves to 9-4. and four. And we're right where we were when this series started. The two teams, Yankees are separated by half a game. As now, the Yankees will head down to play the very surprising Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles are 8-4. and four. Dean Kramer and John Means have pitched very well, but they'll start the series. Tristan McKenzie, his first start of the year. All of those numbers for him, as you see there at the top of the screen, were from the bullpen. Uh, with Montgomery hurt and he missing two, if not three, starts. McKenzie versus Aiken. And then Cole versus Kramer. And then Woodruff coming off that amazing gem, that one nothing gem where we went eight innings uh, versus Means. So that should be a good one as well. But again, you got to win series. You got to try to win as many series as you can. We took two or three from Houston. We swept Boston. We split with Toronto. We split with Texas. We have still yet to lose a series, and that is important. But, of course, now the hope is you got to try and string some of these uh, some wins together. And go on some winning streaks. What a series indeed, though. So, pitch, great pitching all around. You know, Cal Quantrill, hard luck loser. No other way to describe it. But 
it'll be McKenzie versus Aiken again in McKenzie's first start of the year. That'll be tomorrow. Um, and again, we're we're a little ahead of schedule <laughs> because, of course, um, well, when you have pitchers duel, when you don't have a lot of base runners and don't have a lot of offense, uh, the game goes faster. We look at our player statistics. All right, Cabrera still, you know, he's five for eight on the year. Rort vet. Uh, three for eight. Dominguez, unfortunately, is hurt. Conforto doing very well. Olsen doing very well. Bellinger doing very, very well. Stahl, everybody's doing relatively well. Garcia, I'd like to get a little better production out of him. Same with Falefa. Bobby Witt, rookie, you're okay with it. Going into a little bit of a slump here. But that was, again, that's Toronto's tough pitching. Hicks got, went two for four. He got his average up. Brock Holt, back up two for nine. LeCastro, two for nine. And Jose Peraza is uh not really doing it and then of course our pitching our pitching is doing very well the pitchers out of the the pen the wise ago we want to see better we're gonna probably trade rosenthal at some point but uh we'll figure out when that happens um and gallegos continues to dominate overall um everybody else here aside from rosenthal everybody's been very solid um again montgomery hurt we picked up Kim off of free agency. He pitched a shutout inning in his first inning as a Yankee. Um, yeah. Ah, that's a heart. That's a heartbreaker. That is a heartbreaker. But let's see. We have to. No. So, all right. Well, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you all for tuning in. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. And we'll be back tomorrow for the first two games against the Orioles. Um, but what a series. Yeah, Yankees and Blue Jays split. The Blue Jays salvaged the last game to earn a series split. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow. So, good night, everybody.